Welcome class to Kitchen 101, where we teach you how to think like a chef, how to cook, not what to cook, giving you the knowledge and comfort you need to create and modify recipes to fit your chosen way of eating and lifestyle. Today we're going to discuss the five French mother sauces. So grab yourself a pen, paper, and a gravy boat, because I'm Professor Kitchen, and class is in session. As always, if you like this class, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more classes like this, please click the subscribe and the bell buttons to get notified every time I release a new class. Now, on to the lesson. In most of the Western world, we greatly value French-style cooking. It is elegant, beautiful, and delicious. One of the hallmarks of French cooking is their amazing sauces. While the French didn't invent the concept of a sauce, there's no culture that we can say definitively never used a sauce. They did take the concept of elevating a dish with a wonderful sauce to the level of an artistic master. Today we are going to discuss what the French refer to as their mother sauces, because so many of their sauces are simply modifications of these basic sauces. Before we get into the history of mother sauce concept, I want to apologize in advance for my pronunciation of French words and names. I am going to slaughter them. I can't do French. No question about it, it's going to be bad. So, let's get to it. The concept of French mother sauce came from Marie-Antoine Karim, who lived from 1784 to 1833. He was known as the King of Chefs and the Chef of Kings. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that in French. It's quite possible that he was, in fact, the first celebrity chef. He wrote many books on cooking, including a five-volume encyclopedic text on the art of French cooking. I'll link to his Wikipedia page in the description below. Karim listed four mother sauces in his works. They are almondine, bechamel, velouté, and espagnol. Chef Auguste Escoffier, who lived from 1846 to 1935, took Karim's ideas, simplified them, and modernized them into one of the most important kitchen guides ever written. Le Guide de Coyenet. This book is so important that not only is it still in use as a cookbook today, but is a textbook in French cooking styles today. Pretty impressive for a book that's nearly 100 years old. I'll also link to his Wikipedia page down in the description box. Escoffier removed almondine sauce as a mother, insisting that it is simply a version of velouté, and replaced it with two more, sauce tomate and hollandaise. To be fair to Karim, Almondine is simply hollandaise with the light broth added. The concept of there being five mother sauces has actually stuck around more than what those sauces are. For instance, foodtimeline.org insists that there are five mother sauces, but actually lists six of them. Through time, more types of sauces have been added to the French repertoire, so there are indeed more than five mother sauces. But people still insist there are only five. For the next few weeks, I like to go over the French mother sauces. I'm going to show you how to make each one as we go through them. The basic sauces are really good, but that's only the beginning. We're also going to discuss ways that you can modify these sauces to add your own flair to them. In fact, many of you have family history and culture that uses sauces very similar to these French mother sauces. I would love to hear about them in the comments section below. How different cultures come up with similar foods is pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Please check the description box below to see links to more information on today's topic. Come back next class as we start going through how to make each one of these sauces. Hope you all have a great week. God bless. Class dismissed.